It's Sneakerhead Saturday, and I'm giving away a pair of Jordan 11 DMPs, the gratitudes, to one of you guys, my subscribers. All you guys need to do is smash that like button. Make sure you guys smash that subscribe button. Of course, join the more family. Comment down below. Let me know what size you need in the Jordan 11s. Take a picture. Take a screenshot. Send me proof on Instagram, dannymore2369. My Instagram is linked down below in the description. Send me proof that you guys subscribed to my YouTube channel. Good luck on the Jordan 11 DMP giveaway. I'm gonna give a few pairs away for the holidays. I'm picking the first winner on release day for the Jordan 11 DMP. So make sure you guys get your giveaway entries in. Good luck. Now let's go to the mall. Today on Sneakerhead Saturday, we have some sneakers to look at. We have new releases that are sitting in the stores. Today's release is sitting. Let's go to the mall today on Sneakerhead Saturday. Sneakerhead Saturday. We are back with another sneaker release that is actually sitting in stores again. Again, we have another release sitting. Now is a great time to be a sneakerhead, isn't it? Guys, if you love sneakers, you just want to wear your kicks, appreciate them, wear them for what they are, you don't care about making money on them, don't care about the resale, now is the best time to be a sneakerhead. It really is, compared to the past few years, right? The past few years have been absolutely wild in the market, and now is the best time. Things are back to, I would say, 2016, 2017 for the most part. It seems like we're going back to those years with, you know, a lot of retros going on sale. We will still have some releases be hype and have resale, but a lot of releases, it looks like, are going to sit. Will the 11s sit in about a week and a half, two weeks from now? We'll find out. I'm going to be doing a mall vlog that day. We'll find out. But today's release, it's sitting. They're sitting on the sneakers app. They're sitting online. Retail 210. Of course, there's no resell. You'll be able to get the sneaker if you wait for under retail. You could probably get them for basically under retail maybe today if your manager is letting you use the rewards and all that. We're going to go in the mall. We're going to go in the mall and we're going to go see this sneaker sitting. This is crazy. Ten years ago, this sneaker did not sit. This shoe did not sit ten years ago. It sold out. It wasn't too too hard to get 10 years ago but it was tougher 10 years ago to get than it is now which is kind of crazy to think about usually it'd be the other way around right but yeah crazy the market has done a full 180 it's crazy to see shoes you know sitting in stores again i'm very mixed feelings about it to be honest with you guys i have mixed feelings about it why because i'm a content creator that's the number one thing right and i'm gonna be honest as a content creator we love hype you guys gotta understand we love hype we love the hype we want the views it's really that simple i'm not trying to be around the bush i'm not gonna sugarcoat it other people may i'm not going to i'm just gonna be honest with you guys we love the hype right as a content creator we want the hype. We want the views. We want the most hype sneakers that you guys, the viewers, are going to go look up and want to watch videos on. It's really that simple. So I'm kind of mixed feelings on it. When it comes to the sneaker head of me, I'm happy because, hey, if I want a shoe, I can go get it. Nice, easy. Don't have to pay, you know, resell. Or if I have to pay resell, it's not too bad at all anymore, which is great. However... It does kind of suck a little bit because, you know, reselling for me has always been a side thing. I'm not out here buying collections. I'm out here reselling crazy pairs like some of you guys may think I do. Not the case at all, to be honest. If I hit a pair for retail and don't want it, I sell it like I feel like most of you guys do anyway. So, yeah, I'm not like a full-blown reseller out here buying collections and all that. You guys would see it if I was. But... I would say, you know, I do resell here and there if it's a shoe I don't want. So, what, but what I'm getting to is, you know, with these threes, I didn't want them. If they were going for money, I would have bought them and flipped them a quick flip a pair or two. You know what I mean? Same thing with the 11s. The 11s, I'm keeping a personal. Every year, I keep usually keep a pair, but I'm able to, you know, get some more pairs for retail and flip them, make a little bit of money and help, you know, pay for my pair, put money in my pocket, that sort of thing. And give people good prices under market. For the 11 during the Christmas time, for the holidays, it makes sense. And I still make my profit. Well, it doesn't look like that's going to be the case this year. It's not happening with the 3s, and it doesn't look like it's going to happen with the 11s. And that's the first time 
this has been happening since I've been into shoes since 2010 when it comes to the 11. So very, very shocking. It really is a great time to be a sneakerhead right now. If you only care about the shoes, want to wear them, enjoy them, it's a great time. So let's go into the mall. We are here at the Ocean County Mall. And yeah, I am expecting them to have the Fear 3s sitting big time. So yeah, let's go into the mall and uh, let's go check out the Fear 3s and let's see what other sneakers are sitting because I'm sure they have some other shoes, maybe some restocks. Let's go find out. On feet today, I went comfy with the Yeezy slides. All black, yeah, I know, I'm wearing white socks. Just decided to go very simple today. Nothing too crazy. But yeah, let's go into the mall. Bear pairs, we're gonna stop in here first before we go to Foot Locker. Here in Rare Pairs, and they have a pair of sneakers I've been eyeing lately, the Travis Scott Air Maxes. I am going to the Travis Scott concert on December 10th, so I could use the Air Maxes. I don't want to wear any of my expensive Travises because I don't want to mess them up. I do have four tickets front row, so I'm not trying to mess up anything crazy, but I do want to wear a Travis Scott sneaker and not the Air Forces because they're all white. So contemplating, debating back and forth, but let's see what else they got. They got Red Thunders. This is a great release that released last year. Definitely a great pair. What are these? Oh, I haven't seen these. Stealth Fives, haven't seen those in a while. Tumble Others, very nice on those. The Bel Airs, I didn't really care for these. Didn't really care about these too much either. But we do have some shoes I do care about. The Reimagined Threes, I still claim. Sneaker of the Year. Still to me, easily Sneaker of the Year. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. What is Sneaker of the Year for you? I know a lot of you guys are gonna say it's this sneaker right here. Maybe this shoe right here, the SB Jordan 4. Pine Green, I know a lot of you guys are gonna say it's this sneaker. Me, personally, very Imagine Threes. Both are great releases. You know, my I did do a full 180 switch on this shoe. I love it now, but I still think the Reimagine 3s are better. Ooh, this is a pair of 3s. These look similar to the Olive 4s. They're pretty close. You know, they have all the switch up materials, the olive theme and color going on. Pretty similar to the 4s. I think the 4s are better than these 3s. I'm not crazy about these 3s at all. I still think the 4s are better. We got some classic Jordan 11s right above the Travis Scotts. We have, ooh, the Space Jams. I need them. I definitely need the Jams. I had them several times i just regret ever selling them sold them for no reason i just idiot need to sell them for whatever reason i need them back cool grays i love i need to wear my pair i still haven't definitely a great pair of 11s that released in the past few years this year's 11 is fire and i'm giving them away make sure you guys get your giveaway entries in like this video subscribe and dm me on instagram dannymore2369 that you guys subscribe i'm giving away the dmps the gratitudes so make sure you guys get your giveaway entries in on the jordan 11 giveaway man they have so many great pairs inside of the store i absolutely love rare pairs Ooh, eh, nah never mind not, not what i thought it was 85s we saw those Ooh, another slept on Jordan 1 right here. These I was never crazy about, and I paid the high. I paid like $350 for this sneaker early. What an L that was. I paid $350, guys, for this shoe early. That is nuts. What an L that was. I can't believe I did that, but yeah, what an L. Got it from another YouTuber. That was just an L. That was just an L on my behalf right there. But right here, tie-dyes. I never got into the tie-dye. I don't know why. Just never really cared for this shoe that much. Man. Bubble gums. Market has really dropped on a lot of these shoes, guys. It's crazy to see. Ooh, lost and founds. I need another pair. I could always use more pairs, to be honest. I need more pairs. Definitely need more pairs. Can't get enough of the lost and found Jordan ones. Here's a pair of the Jordan ones. I don't think I've seen in person before. Yeah, I've never seen these in person. Okay, they do have zoom air on the tongue. Zoom comfort. I just wanted to see these in hand real quick. Easy pass for me. I just wanted to see them. Get a little closer look at them in hand. But we do have some other sneakers that I do want to take a look at as well. Like the black and white 85s. This is a great, great pair. Great pair that released this year. I think people forgot that these even released this year. If you guys remember the name of this Jordan 1 Zoom Comfort, please leave a comment, let me know. I forgot the name of it. I remember it, but I forgot. I can't think of it right now at the top of my head. The mall's busy today. It is the day after Black Friday, so it is busy, but here at Foot Locker. Let's go see what's sitting. We got some retro sitting, and of course, we're gonna start off with the fives. The fives are still here, not surprising. These will eventually go on sale, but not bad. The more I 
see them the more I like them, but definitely still not a must for me. It never was, even though they released a long time ago and it's a retro, they bring it back. It was never a must for me, it just never was. Royal Reimagines, I'm not shocked. I'm not shocked at all. I'm really not. Not anymore. I was, but not anymore. I mean, still get them. You guys can get them for under retail. If you really want to, you put in a little bit of work, you'll get them for under retail. So, not surprised to still see them. I'm sure they still have sizes. 180, and yeah, this right here is my size, which is crazy. But yeah, they do still have Royals, the 13s. Why are these still here, bro? Why are these still here? They should just put them on sale and just dump them. I doubt they even have a bunch of pairs. This is a size 10. I doubt they have a whole size run, maybe. I don't know, but... They should just dump them, put them on sale. They gotta put some of these retros on sale at this point just to move them. You know, that's the point we're at in the sneaker game. We're at the point where they gotta put stuff on sale and it still may not even sell for $100. You know, even the mids are sitting. It wasn't like this 2020, 2021. The shoe would be, you know, a 2 250 shoe easily. Easily. You know, a lot of these mids would. These would be going for $200 in two, 2020. 2 220 easily easily as well as this bread call right here these would be worth it and just not the case anymore guys not the case so yeah if you're really into shoes to wear them enjoy them appreciate them for what they are no better time to be a sneakerhead than right now and we have more retros sitting we got the 13s right here sitting Ooh, the wheat 13s these just released i think last week not too long ago at all sitting sitting hard the 13s as well the leather quality is nice on it I'm just never crazy about the Wheat 13s. This is one of those retros again. They, you know, they released in what, like 2004, 2005? And I'm just not crazy about them. I just never was. I never was. And I've been into shoes since 2010. I just never cared for this retro like that. It's cool to see them, but I just never cared for it. The Olive Fours, not surprising, really at all. To see them uh, sitting still, you know, you guys can wait and probably get them on sale. But here we go. Today's release. Ah, oh, man, the Fear 3s. 10 years ago, 10 years ago, I don't remember being able, you could just walk into the store and get them. No, not 10 years ago, but now, yep. Crazy. Fear 3 sitting on release. Let me know down below in the comments if you guys copped a pair today. If you did, please comment a bunch of fire emojis. If you guys did not cop for whatever reason, comment down below a bunch of trash emojis. I want to see who actually copped the Fear 3s today and who did not. The orange pops, good shoe, just not one of my favorite threes. Not one of the best sneakers to release this year, not even a top 10 in my opinion. Probably not even a top 20 for me, so easy pass, but nice to see 10 years later they are back. I wonder if the 11s are going to sit. I'm going to ask if they're even getting them. I don't know if they know yet. They probably do know it's releasing in about two weeks, so they probably do know. I'm going to ask and see if, those, if they're getting the 11s. But the threes sitting on release day. 10 years ago, this shoe did not sit, so this is crazy. We're at a completely different time in the sneaker game, guys. Crazy, wild. If you're really into shoes, to wear them, appreciate them for what they are, no better time to be a sneakerhead than right now. And here on Sneakerhead Saturday, we got the Fear 3 sitting. Crazy, wild times we're in. Wild times, what a complete change from just a few years ago. What a complete change from just a few years ago. We have all these retros sitting wild. Absolutely wild to see. Foot Locker, not surprising really to see the Fear 3s sitting, other retros sitting, new releases sitting. We're at a different game, a different time, a different atmosphere of the sneaker world compared to just you know, last year, the year before, and especially 2020. So, completely different. Now's the time to be a sneakerhead, guys. It's a great time. If you really care about shoes, it's a great time. So, yes. Let me know what you guys think about the Fear 3s. Let me know if you guys copped. Make sure you guys enter in the Jordan 11 giveaway. Fear 3s and a bunch of other retros just sitting. Like I keep saying, guys, if you're really into sneakers, you know, just to wear them, appreciate them, you don't care about the resale, you don't care about making money, none of that stuff, well, now is the time. It's a great time to be a sneakerhead. It really is. You can walk into the store and get a lot of new releases, a lot of good new Jordan retros that, you know, two years ago, a year ago, a few months ago even, this wouldn't have been the case. So, 
it's a completely different, you know, change, a different atmosphere of what's been going on in the game. And it just shows that sneakers, in my opinion, I'm going to say it. I think the sneaker game is down. I'm just going to say it. I think overall, people just don't care about shoes as much. I just don't feel like people care about as much shoes as much. I, I'm just being honest. Let's, let me know your thoughts on that down below. Let me know if you guys still care about sneakers as much as you do or, or did maybe, I should say, at one point. I feel like people just don't care as much. I'm just being honest. Overall, I just don't think people care as much. But it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up. Get your giveaway entries in on the Jordan 11 Gratitude. All right, make sure you guys get your giveaway entries in, like this video, smash that subscribe button, comment down below your size, DM me on Instagram, send me that DM, DannyMoore2369, send me proof that you guys subscribed, and get your giveaway entries in. Comment down below, fire emojis or trash emojis, did you cop the fear threes today on release day? Let me know down below in the comments. I want to thank you guys so much, so much for watching. Make sure you guys join the more family. Hit that subscribe button. Smash that like button. We're always on the grind. We're never gonna stop. Always dropping that fire. Straight fire. Thank you guys so much for watching. We out.